Yo, coaches, what up? Quick, quick thought for you, just tip. Uh, if you like it, keep it. If you don't, pack it. But here, here's kind of what we're going at. The, the Really, what we're doing on the weekends always as communicators is hopefully setting you up to have really awesome discussion. We view ourselves as like activators. Hopefully the message activates in you an opportunity to lead great discussion in your group. But what's important for great discussion, and it's in our coach guide, is that, hey, everybody talks, everybody learns, uh, everybody is challenged, everybody applies. And really what's important is we gotta be in scripture. We're viewing that scripture time in the coach guide as intentional and part of the message. Like we're opening up the Bible every single week and we're diving into it. So here's what I've heard, and this is awesome. I, I hear from coaches who say, man, well, how do we get into that? Because we take 10 minutes going around and doing highs and lows before we dive into scripture. And here's what I'm saying, don't stop asking students to share what they're doing. That's like a s extremely vital part of your group and it gets people bought in and wants them to, and is and gonna encourage them to share. Here's gonna be a cool idea. Maybe instead of going around your circle of 15, 20 kids letting everybody share, what if instead you say, hey, everybody, break in little groups of three and share that way. So now you're only taking two minutes to do something and everybody had a chance to share. And then you still have your 10 minutes right after that where you can open up scripture and ask good questions and, and just be like Jesus. So appreciate you coaches. Cool tip. If you like it, use it. I think it could work. Have a good one.